Knowing our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, is more than saying, I believe. Learn about Catholicism and become a premium member of RealCatholicTV.com today. Because understanding the price paid on the cross is worth more than the cost of a subscription. DOMA heads to the Supreme Court. Nuns unveil their habit of dissent. And homeschooled brothers shame public education. All that and more coming up on today's Catholic News Roundup. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by PewSitter.com, your online Catholic newspaper for the third millennium. CatholicMediaCoalition.org, in line with the church, online with the world. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Catholic News Roundup. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. DOMA's last stand. The stage is set for a final fight in the Supreme Court as the Defense of Marriage Act has gone undefended and widely challenged, most notably by the Obama administration. The law, passed by Congress in 1996, defines marriage as only between one man and one woman. However, eight states have since approved same-sex marriage, and the pressure is on by pro-homosexual lifestyle political activists in states across the country to see the law condemned as unconstitutional. Most recently, a U.S. Circuit Court of Appeals in Boston declared that DOMA doesn't give same-sex couples the same benefits as heterosexual couples and is therefore sending this battle to the Supreme Court. Not only has the law gone undefended in state legislatures around the country, but last February, Barack Obama declared through his Justice Department that he would no longer enforce DOMA, a standing federal law. It has not yet been announced when opening arguments for the case will begin in Washington. Habit of Contradiction. The Leadership Conference of Women Religious is contradicting the Vatican's findings in its recent report, saying the organization has serious doctrinal problems and needed a leadership overhaul. You may remember the Vatican released the report in April, specifically addressing the nuns' lack of support for the church's stance on abortion euthanasia, and other key issues, while they instead primarily focus on what they see as other social justice issues. Board members of the Leadership Organization for Nuns in the United States call the report prepared by the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith in Rome, quote, unsubstantiated accusations and the result of a flawed process that lacked transparency, end quote, and plan on visiting the Vatican to discuss its findings. You may remember a recent story regarding Catholic nuns in Texas running an Ursuline Catholic, Ursuline Catholic school are publicly endorsing billionaire Melinda Gates' vendetta to spread contraception and abortion around the world. Th though the Vatican report is being criticized, this is only one example of many similar situations around the country. Malta Militant Defense. The tiny country of Malta is standing up to its European Union neighbors by defending the unborn and criticizing the destruction of human embryos for research purposes. During the EU Competitiveness Council in Brussels, the European Union proposed the funding of research activities throughout Europe that would destroy human embryos in order to harvest their stem cells. Malta, still a heavily Catholic country despite its recent legalization of divorce last year, made a declaration of ethical principles calling for a commitment across Europe to the use of adult stem cells in research instead. Despite Malta's heroic stance, the European Union did overwhelmingly approve the killing of human babies for its research purposes against a, min a minority group including Austria, Lithuania, Poland, and Slovakia, though it will not actually fund them. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a few seconds. Catholic News Roundup is brought to you in part by NewOxfordReview.org, the voice of Catholic Orthodoxy, in print and on the web, and RenewAmerica.com, expanding the influence of America's grassroots in the cause of freedom. Brilliant Brazilian brothers. Since their parents have been repeatedly fined and criminally convicted for homeschooling, two Brazilian boys are changing the world with their education. Jonatas and Davi Nunez passed a law school entrance exam five years ago when they were 13 and 14 respectively 
and have recently won the prestigious Sao Paulo Mario Covas Award for innovative ideas related to government administration at ages 18 and 19. Their prize-winning ideas were focused on Sao Paulo's state web portal and online educational service. The brothers are now planning to commercially launch two multimedia products they have designed on their own, utilizing their interests in computer science skills after winning multiple cash prizes for their performance in these complex fields of study. Tweet Truth. Moral Christian messages are going viral in social media, even drowning out the voices of Hollywood's most high-profile celebrities. Fox News reports the Bible has over 13 million likes on Facebook, and its app has been downloaded over 50 million times, while moral messages from Christian leaders are 30 times more likely to be retweeted than tweets by personalities such as Lady Gaga, Justin Bieber, and Katy Perry, who all have tens of millions of followers. Even more interesting is that after seeing the trend, Twitter is now going out of its way to persuade religious leaders in America to join up on the social media platform to increase its user base. The consensus is, with only 140 characters allowed to be contained in every tweet, pastors say it was made for Bible verses. I'm Matthew McAuliffe. Thanks for tuning in today. Be sure and tune in tomorrow for your daily dose of Catholic News Roundup right here on realcatholictv.com. Also be sure to check out The Vortex, where Michael talks about the war over contraception. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to tell all your friends about us. And as always, God bless you.